Mr. Mushy. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had the wrong number. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. So, um, you wrote a book, and it's a very, very timely book. Um, and what what is the title? It's called Game Over. <clears throat> Jerry Sandusky, Penn State, and the Culture of Silence. A long title. Yes. Game over. Game oh. over, man. So um, we've all been following the trial, and uh, as close, I guess the defense begins today, right? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I, they're, they're supposed to rest as soon as the court starts today. Now, uh, from what I see, uh, this is looking pretty bad for old Jer. Old Jer. Uh, uh, now, the defense is going to come out and try to discredit uh, a lot of these witnesses that came up and said that they were uh, uh, victims of Jerry and his, uh, his lust for children. Uh, what, what do you think uh, about that strategy and Jerry trying to use that? I don't think it's going to have any effect whatsoever. Well, I've covered uh, probably 250 criminal trials in my life, and uh, in cases where there's accusations from one person to another, especially in sex abuse cases, uh, the, the time to do it is in cross-examination when the witness is testifying. And, sure. Uh, last week, the witnesses all testified, and I, from my perspective, the defense did not really get into their shorts at all. Oh, I think you're being a little... Uh, uh, yeah, gotta, you got to get in those shorts or something. Yeah, yeah. Wow, uh, so... But don't they have the right to uh, recall them? No, not really. Uh, there's got to be extraordinary circumstances uh, in order to get them back in there uh, for the efficiency of the court and for a variety of other reasons. Mm. But uh, uh, I, you know... Normally, uh, every case I've ever covered, man, they, like, go at them uh, right uh, in their face right away, and that just did not happen in this one. In fact, uh, Joe Amendola, the lawyer for Sandusky, yeah. stood on the courthouse steps on December 6th when they waived a preliminary hearing and sat there and uh, rambled on for, for, for over an hour to the media uh, talking about how he, they were going to Tortured is Mike McQuarrie, the assistant coach who told right. the turno the whole nine yards. Yeah. And frankly, uh, I watched McQuarrie twice on the stand, and he uh, he was very emphatic. And the more they tried to get at him, the more emphatic he became. Uh, yeah, the, the yeah. The independent witness. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's a double-edged sword there, though, because you don't, really don't want to try to victimize the victim up there on the stand, especially when they had just gotten done talking about their horrid experience with this gentleman. And then uh, the, the gentleman's lawyer gets up there and just starts trying to rip him apart. Uh, it, it looks like he's beating, beating up on them uh, to the jury. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a, a very slippery slope, man. And yeah. uh, the bottom line is, is that if you don't discredit the witnesses, what do you have? Yeah, well, you have what you have, which is a guy that was in the shower with uh, children uh, and very inappropriately. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, the way that this uh, thing has unfolded, um, it's bizarre in that Mr. Sandusky has admitted, uh, not only in an interview with Bob Costas, but with the New York Times, that he routinely took showers with young kids. Yes, unbelievable. Uh, uh, actually, I want to I want to let some of the listeners in on this uh, conversation. Uh, great book, of course, Jerry Sandusky, Penn State and the Culture of Silence in bookstores now uh, at uh, Amazon. Now, actually, uh, you get it on Amazon, right? Of course, yeah, you can get it on any word. Yeah, yeah. Bill, uh, how do you pronounce that last name? Mushi. Mushi. Bill Mushi. All right, uh, let's go to I guess uh, Paul Hargis is on uh, on the phone. Uh, hello, Paul. Hi. You're on with uh, Bill. Hi, thank you, Mr. Richardson, for taking my call. How are you? Good. Uh, yeah, I've been following yeah. the case, and uh, I think it's a whole lot of to do about nothing, to be honest with you. I think it's a witch hunt to go after Mr. Sandusky. Mr. Sandusky? Yeah, I think that this whole thing is just a witch hunt. Mm. They're going after this guy. Oh. Bill, have you heard anybody actually say anything like this and defend uh, Sandusky? Uh, yeah, I've heard uh, that Sandusky made a big witch's brew and was uh, trying to feed it to all the young boys. Oh, oh yeah. shit. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, no, because I, I used to coach at a, a, a school, and you have interactions with the students, and everybody starts saying something, but it ain't nothing but innocence. And frolicking. Now, you, oh, so, Mr. Hargis, you're, so what you're saying is that uh, you were in a similar situation? I was teaching, and, you know, you can't start judging a bunch of books by their covers <laughs> to think that you can't 
interact with the students after gym class if you take a shower or something. Well, uh, you have a different set of uh, uh, codes in life than I do, uh, but uh, the bottom line is, is there's uh, eight kids have testified. There's Yay. another 16. There's another seven that have been identified. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, that's going to be the decision for a jury to make as to whether or not the kids have orchestrated a cover-up, which is what's ended yeah. up alleged, or so whether or not. Hall of Fame numbers. What, what was that, Paul? He has Hall of Fame numbers, this guy. I don't think that he did nothing wrong. I think that they're just taking a whole bunch and making a big to-do about nothing. Well, I'm sure if you talk to the victims, uh, it's not nothing there, Paul. Mr. Peters, why did you write a book about this, saying all this It's Mouché. Or I'm mushy. sorry. Or... Why did you write a book about this like the guy did something wrong? There's no evidence. <laughs> well, read the book and make your own decision. Yeah. Same. I just think that everybody's jumping on this guy because he was more popular with the kids, and that, that makes everybody jealous. Oh, Paul. <laughs> it does. If you're a good coach and they all like you, uh -huh. everybody wants to, to badmouth you. Ooh, don't get angry. Jesus. Uh, Bill, Bill, uh, how do you think, how do you see this ending? Uh, what, what do you think uh, happens to uh, Jerry Sandusky? Are you asking me? I don't know. I, I, I think he's going to get off. We're having, a, a, we're having troubles with the phones this morning, and it's very difficult to hang up. Uh, <laughs> no. And Paul. No, I want to I talk to oh Mr. God. Shepard. You don't even know his name. Uh, so how do you see this ending uh, with uh, Jerry Sandusky? Well, I think he's probably... well, uh, the the uh, jury's going to get the case probably later this sure. week. Uh, yeah, and basically uh, there should be a uh, uh, there's fifty there's fifty two charges against a guy. Uh, uh, yeah, I've seen many many uh, trials in my life. And, sure, me too. Uh, Just try to talk over, and I apologize. I'm trying to hang up on him, but the thing is, uh. Not cooperating. But uh, I think that the trial's going to end this week sometime. Uh, right. There's a very little chance of a uh, uh, major defense. Cause normally that's done on the uh, on the prosecution side where they cross examine sure. people. So, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, well, do you think that the defense has a chance if they call a bunch of professional witnesses, too? But if they say... Maybe I need to call some psychologists or something. They're going to do that. I ain't yeah. finished yet. I'm saying I have to testify about the lying that these kids are doing. I'm sure you can testify about that. Uh, but uh, the, you know, uh, you're in a situation. Know. All right, Paul. Hold on. Let Bill talk. Sorry. Right. I got a bad connection. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, now, what about sentencing? Uh, what, what what can Jerry face? He can, well, it all depends nah, on what they Paul. finally convict him of. Hold on. Bill, what, could he, what kind of uh, sentence can this guy get? Well, uh, any conviction on any of the, of the major uh, offenses in the 52 charges would probably effectively be a life sentence for Sandusky. Ah, He's 68 years old. And, uh, hey, years. could you, like, uh, be quiet? You're being very rude. Paul. I'm trying to talk to you, sir. Why don't you shut up? If we could get... Don't shut up. I'm trying to ask questions oh. about the Sandusky case. You don't even know what you're talking about. Um, yes, I do. And this man's being maybe rude. Maybe we could I'm pot him down or something. Anything just to get him off the fucking phone. We're Jesus trying Christ. Here. We're trying. I apologize, Bill. This <laughs> wasn't even supposed to happen, but he's so fucking annoying. Um... So he could get, uh, he could do yeah, some pretty I hard, mean, hard things. Yeah, he's I mean, gonna. Basically, at his oh, age, yeah, sure. At his age, uh, you know, any yeah. sentence he gets is effectively a life sentence. Right, right, yeah. He's no kid, that's for sure. Uh, and and is this going to be a, a real prison, or you think it's one of these white collar places? Oh yeah, a real one. Uh, I mean, uh, the Pennsylvania system does not have any uh, really soft prisons. They're <laughs> they're all. Uh, uh, medium security or above, so, uh, he would uh, he would he would be in a uh, secure facility. Yeah. Do you see? Uh, yeah, all right, Paul. There. Paul. What's, what's do you that? see? Do you see uh, anybody else um, being responsible for this? Well, uh, a lot. Of, a lot of blame has been passed it's around. A bunch of lying kids, I think. One of the things that um, that is very disconcerting about this whole thing, if the charges are true. Uh, and yeah. that is that 
uh, dating back to before 1998, a large number of people in the Penn State community had knowledge of the allegations against Sandusky, uh-huh. and right. almost none of them came forward. Right. Yeah. And uh, that's the most disconcerting. When you put the timeline about what these kids say. How responsible... How, how responsible legally do you think these people are going to be that uh, kept their mouths shut? Well, oh, not be... at all. I don't think they should be. I don't think they. Th- I think this whole thing's a big witch hunt. Jesus Christ, could you? Find... It's unbelievable, or what? I, I'm so, I, I, it it's... really is, and I got to be honest. I'm talking about I you? Know why, I, no, I don't know why they're doing this whole witch hunt. You're right, though. They no, no one. Be forced to not do this again. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, the. Um, uh, yeah, the responsibility. I, I, some of these right. people seem to be uh, culpable. I mean, uh, look at the, the the president, I guess, of, of the university itself. President Obama. Uh, they they didn't. Uh, he didn't go as far as I think he should have gone. Well, um, there's specific evidence that the president of the university had knowledge of an event that occurred in 1998, mm-hmm. uh, and then uh, in 2002, a second event. Uh, became public. The 98 event turned out to be a no investigation. The investigation turned nothing up. Uh, and then in 2002, there's another one where this Mike McQuarrie saw. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's the, a rat. It's a co- it, it, shut up. But, it's uh, a cover up. It's it, I, I I really see this as being 100 percent a, a cover up uh, to try to protect the school's name and the the football program. Well, uh, that word has been used repeatedly by the attorney general's office throughout this whole process. What's the Army got to do with this? What? The, the general? But uh, it has gone all the way up into the president's office. <clears throat> There's two top officials under indictment right now for perjury and false uh, failing to report uh, sexual did. abuse of children. Yeah. Uh, they're going to trial Fine. soon. Uh, and uh, from what <clears throat> has turned up in this Sandusky trial, it looks like the investigation is going to uh, grow. Rather than uh, proceed, and then when you look on the other side of it, uh, there are going to be civil lawsuits uh, going on for the yeah. next ten years, probably. I don't doubt it, man. They're probably going to sue all it, these kids, right? Because they were telling all these lies, and they're spreading this man's not, name through the dirt. They're probably going to sue them. They're not lying. They're not. You Slander think? Lies. What you think? Everybody is lying. Then sure. yeah, all ten they're of them lying. cooked up a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all yeah. Uh, cooked it up, and then waited years and years to go by until all this I happened. Agree. That's exactly. Oh, right. stop it! That's exactly Just what stop it, is. it! They're all telling the. You're ridiculous! You're ridiculous! Uh, we got Bill uh, Mushi on on the phone. He's got uh, a great new book out. Jerry Sandusky, Penn State, and the Culture of Silence. It's in bookstores and uh, on Amazon right now. Uh, this is uh, people are so fascinated by this. What makes people sure. so compelled uh, to want to know all the dirty details of uh, stuff like this? I don't know. They just want to know. Everybody's nosy. They want. You, to it's, that was a really. That was an astute comment. Uh, the uh, the uh, basically th- this story is like one of Shakespearean proportions. You got yeah. situations sure, where uh, you know, like Joe Paterno, no one has risen to such heights to fall to such depths so quickly. Yeah. Uh, you know the. Uh, university, the pristine university, never been under investigation by the NCAA right. mm-hmm. before, and now all of a sudden this uh, unbelievable scandal engulfs uh, it. And it goes back to the whole idea that it's a closed society up there, yep. in what they used to call Happy Valley, and, and it's really uh, a situation where they've tried to keep everything hidden. They went all the way to the mm-hmm. state Supreme Court to keep Paterno's uh, uh, salary. Right. Hidden, you know, and and they just Why didn't think the outside would. Would you let me talk for a minute? Sure, sure. Just shut I'm up. Why can't you shut up for like hey, I'm seconds. trying to ask a question about Joe Paterno's salary, and you're yelling at me. I got a bad phone connection, and so you. Not TV. bad enough. Why don't you like hang it up, and then you won't have a bad phone connection? Yeah. Because I can't hear the show if I hang up. And we got a, a, a line I had to call in, and I'm, I'm an expert in this area. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, it sounds it. Sounds it. You're all being very rude, sir. I'm trying to be courteous. I... Mm. Well, you're being more rude than anybody I've talked to in recent That's months. That's not true, Mr. And he, Mushy. And he I'm probably talks to a lot you. of people. <laughs> Just... But, uh, no, I mean, you know, the game over the book uh, mm-hmm. gives a great, very good description oh. of what happened up there before this event, how it went on for 15 years. Uh, no uh, and now uh, that it's going to trial, a yeah. lot of it. Yeah. Uh, here we are. I'm yeah. back. Shh. 
Come on, phone. Paul. God, man. I'm sorry. My phone's crapping out. I'm all over the place <laughs> trying to hear. So, and, and the culture of silence, the name of the book in itself, right. means sure. that there has been uh, a cover-up going on. Uh, do you just mean Penn State, or is it really um, all of these schools and sports programs and uh, these little, almost like fraternities? Well, it's like a, it's a cautionary tale, that's for sure, because uh, Penn State is not the only university that sits out in the middle of nowhere uh, and runs itself and uh, you know, generates a huge amount of money. Penn State's football program brings $54 million in profit in a year. Wow. And uh, it's, a, it's a situation where they were protecting the brand. And you can go all over the United States uh, and find other places that would, pro- would, would want to protect the brand sure, because there are huge amounts of... Uh, you know, if this guy would let me talk, I would use my answers once. Jesus. <laughs> what do you think about the Syracuse thing? Huh? How about that whole mess up there and whatnot? What? The whole Syracuse University. You know, even you if know? you have a legitimate question, he's not going to want to answer you because you keep interrupting the guy I when he's talking. i got a bad connection. That's a very legitimate point, how they seen what's going on over at Penn State, and these kids are getting paid millions of dollars, and now they're saying that they want That's not to true. Pay. That's not true. What? Sure. Everybody's making millions of dollars. Oh. And then up at Syracuse, they want to make money. So they say that the guy did a whole bunch of stuff up there, too. I didn't think so. Well, uh, I, I realize you've done a tremendous amount of research on that. So, uh, sure, the, uh, sure. <clears throat> in the 150 people that we interviewed during mm-hmm. the course of this Wow. Day, yeah. Uh, the, a lot uh, of people. The uh, bottom line is that... Uh, it's a tale that people should read to make sure that they understand the ramifications of not being doing the right thing. Right. right. Tell the truth. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, it sounds like a, a fascinating book uh, 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 of a story that is fascinating. I mean, people really are all over this, and uh, you've kind of put it together for everybody. Uh, Bill uh, Mushi. Mushi, Jerry Sandusky, Penn State, and the Culture of Silence in bookstores right now. And uh, on Amazon, check it out. And also, you're uh, at B Mushi on uh, Twitter. I want to know, what do you think is going to happen with this trial? How much trouble are they going to get into for, for, for perjury? Well, perjury is a statute. If, if the government can prove it, they would file it, because they filed two perjury charges in this case already. So, mm. uh, Which ones do the kids are in trouble for perjury? None of them are. Well, who's in perjuring? All, what's happening over there? Actually, nobody really uh, uh, proved any perjury during their oh. testimony that I saw. Yeah. Well, who's perjuring stuff? <clears throat> Paul. <laughs> en- enough. This makes great radio, though. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> certainly. Great. With, uh... Uh, well, you know, I appreciate you calling the show. It's good to hear you. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Bill, uh, thanks so much for, for calling in. I apologize. Yeah, I, I like to listen. Not you. I apologize for uh, Mr. Um, Just Hart- remember the Hart- name. Hart- it's Game Over. <laughs> yes, Game Over. Jerry Sandusky, yeah, Penn State, sure. and the Culture of Silence. Then we'll see what happens right now. All right, uh, Paul. And Bill, th- thank you so much, Bill. Uh, good luck with the book. Thank uh, you, man. Thank you, Carly. Sure, you're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, take it easy, man. Bye. All right, that's uh, no. Bill Mushi. Yes, Paul Arias. Holy shit, guys! <laughs> he was getting so annoyed when you just going, "Ha, yeah, sure." In the background, he was so annoyed with you. If you just shut up and let me, yeah. let me talk. Was it, did it seem distracting? Oh, it was so uncomfortable, man. Oh. <laughs> and then mid-sentence of his, you go, oh, there you go, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm back. And you're answering his questions. You're a dick. Oh, it's fucking great. No problem. I like uh, to listen. I love. Yeah, no problem. I like to listen. <laughs> huh?